to get in trouble with HR my first time on your show, Jennifer. I was getting a little too low, low, no, low, you low, low to, there. I like how you get low now. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you for being here. We're so happy to have you. I am so excited to be here. What I'm most excited... Thank you. What I'm most excited is this manicure, Do, my goodness. You like this my is, nails? This is like everything. <laughs> Look at this. See? I want to hear how, I want to feel what that feels like you, on the scalp. You know oh, what? Oh, 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 <laughs> You're funny because <laughs> my son loves my nails this way so I can scratch his head. Yeah. Yes, and I can't have any other shape. If I change them, he'll say, did you change your nails? Because that's good it for, really, as you see, it's good for It really is very comforting. You are so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a little shocked right now. <laughs> I know, uh... Thank you, I'll take it. Listen, in L.A., uh, I heard you complaining about the rain. Not you really turned into a real L.A. person. <laughs> but in L.A., you see people. This is my first time meeting you, and uh, I'm uh, in awe of your beauty. Wow. Thank you. That's all I have to Thank say. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm in awe of your dance moves. You was getting it. Yeah, I was feeling it. I stretched out a little before I came out, <laughs> and um, it felt good. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, so we talk about passions a lot. Like, how did you discover your passion? Because you've been around um, for a while. You, you know, I, uh, I'm an actor. Yes. I'm now a host. Yes. Um, I, I wouldn't say... That can move, too. You know, when I was younger, I, um, I got into a lot of trouble for... They called it hyperactive back in my day. I mean, now I think... To me, that's a sign of artistry, though. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how artistic I was in my hyperactivity, but um, I was just always someone who... I was told to shut up. I was told I spoke out of turn. I was told, I, you know, to calm down, to stay still in your seat. And it's so funny. When I was a kid, I was in that movie Stand By Me yes. with the four boys. And wow. there we are right there. Look, how old were you there? I'm 11 years old there. I'm 11 years old there. It's so funny, isn't oh it? Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's so funny, too, because I have two kids who are now a little bit older than that, but that sort of age. And yeah. um, it's, it's so funny. When I was called, like, hyperactive and all that stuff, you know, I was always told to, you know, take it down a notch, calm down. That's not how we behave. And then when I got on that set, it's so funny. They were like... We love that energy. Yes. Keep it going. And it was so funny. It was almost like a switch went off in my head. Like, wow, all those people are wrong. This is where I belong. Exactly. You, you, exactly. That was it bursting through your expression and of self, don't you think? It truly is. I'm, I'm so grateful that I had that experience mm -hmm. because... Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know what would have happened if I didn't have that experience. I'm so fortunate, you yes. know? Yes. And we're grateful to have and, and it's so funny having kids now who, like, you know, specifically, I have two children who are twins. Twins. And they're about the same age as your son. They're 13. 13. Um, your son is 13, yes, right? Yes, he is. So, um, oh, there are my kids oh, right there. No, him. don't. Hold on a second. Don't aw. Oh, you don't live with them. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> what are they into? Uh, they're into, you know what they really love are their phones. <laughs> I understand. What, what are we going to do about this? I've been trying to figure it out. Maybe we could figure it out together. I cannot get them out of their phone. If they're literally next to me, the only way I can get them to do something is if I text them. I, you know what I do? I FaceTime them right there at the table. <laughs> like, hello, I was talking to you. <laughs> yes. Um, no, I wanted to get, finish my story, though. But with them, with one of my kids, I do notice that one of them has those sort of same sort of traits that I had, where they're okay. a little out of line at times and everything, and we're putting her into drama at school, it, I mean. It, it, as you should. Yeah. I wonder what is it like to have you as a dad? Um, it's terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. I uh, embarrass them as much as I can, especially now that they're attempting to enter, like, dating stuff. Oh, yeah, that's different. Um, what is it like for ha with having a girl? Cause me. Like, my son is 13. Yeah, I have a deal. Um, actually, I would be okay with... I saw your son backstage. I would him? be okay with him dating my daughters. That would be okay. He seems to be, like, a very... You hear that, Dave? Okay. He said hello. He looked me in the eye. He, like, did all the things that <laughs> none of the dudes that my girls hang out with do. 
<laughs> I mean, like every guy, it seems like every, the kids these days are like, oh, hey. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Mr. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> It's not what's up, man. Like, no, it's when not. you were younger, weren't you like, yes. oh, hello? No. The way they communicate is so odd today. I say that all the time. Do you think it's harder for them today as before, like when they, from the 80s? Uh, I do because, I mean, we didn't have phones. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just phones. I'm we were sorry, forced everybody. to communicate and. Yeah, I mean, like, now my kids just speak like in emojis, like, mm, yeah. Uh, mm, uh. <laughs> I don't want to. Dad, what are you like? <laughs> I thought it was just. I'm sorry if that was offensive. I thought it was just <laughs> me. So you and your wife have been been married 18 years. You remember? The... <laughs> he said, "Wow." Is that possible? Do you remember when you first met? Uh, yeah, I met my wife. Um, we were at a party. Uh -huh. It was a. Uh, <clears throat> it was at like a nightclub. Uh, my wife was in the VIP section. I was not in the VIP section. Oh. And I started waving my arms at the velvet rope. And uh, my wife came over and I grabbed her and said to the security person, I'm with her, I'm with her, I'm her plus one. And my wife was like, I don't know this person. <laughs> and then I sat at her table and then her friend uh, was there and said, you should take her phone number. And I said, well, she's with other, another guy there. She was on a date with another guy. And uh, her friend said she doesn't like that guy. And she, and I. I and got you her got phone. her. Yeah. So that worked. Got her Look phone. at that. And that's okay. it. Can I just point out your boots here? We've got to look at these. You want to see? What is? You see? What is this? How he high up did they go? Pencil. Uh, do I, do I have permission to hold your ankle like this? You already got it. These are incredible. You like them? Are they comfortable? They are very comfortable. They feel like a gym shoe. Whoa, okay. I wore these for Mama Patty today. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm glad you like them, Jerry. Listen, <laughs> okay, so you want your wife to be on Real Housewives? Well, um, <laughs> let me just say. Don't do it. Now, hold on Don't a second. Don't do it. Hold on a second. What, tell us. I'm gonna tell you why. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you. There's my wife. I'm gonna She's tell beautiful. you why my wife should be on Real Housewives. Because when you're on Real Housewives, you uh -huh. have to be ready to fight. And you are to fight. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Where my are we wife. Going with this? My wife is a Scorpio. Okay. And okay. If there's one thing I know about Scorpios, what's up, birthday girl? You know what I'm talking about. Is Scorpios? I can tell you, as someone who's married to one, they're really good at fighting. They're okay. like the best at fighting. And my advice to anyone who's with a Scorpio or planning to fight a Scorpio, um, <laughs> how do I say this? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. So uh, that's why I sort of think my wife would be great on there. And also it would be fun to be like a hot like house husband to just like oh. hang out in the background and like my wife is like at a reunion and then I just like show up you and like sit up. in the back of her and like. Uh, <laughs> Maybe get into some of the action myself, you know? <laughs> you, action meaning like you're gonna fight? I'm not fighting anyone. I get manicures. <laughs> you're gonna get the manicures? No, this while is... While she fights? Yeah. Okay. I just got, uh, I can't fight because I just got like fillers everywhere <laughs> and I don't want them to like get weird, you know? Oh my God, that's, it's already weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What was weirder, that filler thing or me holding up your leg? I, I which one is weirder, guys? Or me, or me twerking with you. I apologize I'll, for all of it. But we love the energy. <laughs> we do, we do. Okay, tell me about hosting the, the Love Boat and you and your wife do it The together? Love Boat is a What's TV that? show. It's currently on Paramount Plus. Yes. It's based on the original series. It's a, um, it's a dating show and it happens on a cruise. And um, yeah. it was, uh, that's like an adventure that's happening there that the couples do. Um, it, uh, I gotta tell you, it was my first time on a cruise. Really? Yeah. And I know you, you were part- I used part to work on a cruise ship. I, I was, I gotta tell you, I was really into it. You were into it? I was really into it. The only problem is I don't know when to stop eating. <laughs> they will feed you down. When, when do you, how do you not eat all the time on a cruise? That's a tough question. But I found myself eating on, when the ship was docked, 
Because when you first get back on, because you kind of get nauseous from oh, being yeah. on it, so food kind of, you know, helps you out a bit. But you should monitor it a little bit because they feed you around the clock. How I long know. were you on the ship? Well, we had an all-inclusive ultimate package, and so I wanted to get, like, my money's worth, so I was eating as much as I could. I was taking food off the ship to bring back you home. You can't do that! But when you have that unlimited beverage also, it's like I'm going to get really drunk today See? because <laughs> I paid the money and I'm doing it. Now, we had a great time and the show is really fun, but it was, it was interesting hosting a dating show because you sort of have to be a host, yeah. so you have to like uh, be like a host, you know, and like be like, I'm sorry that didn't work out. And sometimes when people would break up, okay. I would, get too emotionally involved with you it. I'd be like, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> be a man! Be Say I love you! Yes. And you can't um, do that legally as a host. It's a rule to it. There's, like, laws, yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the real love boat, uh, the winning couple wins money and mm. prizes and stuff, and I would... Uh, I, I would yell at them if I didn't think they were doing a good job as a partner, and uh, turns out that's illegal. <laughs> you know how I love playing games on the show. So this time, I thought I'd get a little help from my friend, Jerry O'Connell. So let's play Pictionary. I'm sitting down. Ah! Hello, and welcome to Pictionary. Our first team captain is Paige. Filling out her team is Josh. He just celebrated his two-year anniversary with competitor Devon. Our next team captain is America's dream girl, Jennifer Hudson. Finishing out her team is Devon. And now, the host of The Talk and Pictionary, Jerry O'Connell. Welcome to Pictionary. Everybody knows how to play Pictionary. One person draws and their teammates guess. All right, the first round we are going to play is called Sketch or Steal. Teams will alternate guessing, and if they can't guess it right in 15 seconds, the other team has a chance to steal. Each word is worth one point, okay? Our first category is things you find at a resort. We've all been on vacations. Things you find at a resort. Jennifer, this is your show. Get on up here. You are going to be sketching first. Okay. Things you find at a resort. You can use colors. We colors. have all kinds of colors here. Things you find at a resort. Okay. We got this, Mama. Okay. You have 15 seconds. Okay. Sketch. Okay. Wait. Devon. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bathing suit. Here we uh, go. Hold on come a second. On, come on. Three Ten seconds. Key, um, Things you find um, at a resort. Flowers. Uh uh. Um, it's a uh, cocktail. Uh, um, uh, come on, Mama. I don't know. Okay, Ooh. great drawing. Great use of color. Team Paige, you have a chance to steal. <laughs> Talk about it with Josh. They're talking about it. Do what it. do we got? You got, you got. Water fountain. Uh, guys, it is not a water fountain. This is obviously a palm tree. Come on, everybody. Uh, you don't see the tree? That's okay. okay. In the grass? Okay. The next one. We got the next one. Jennifer, you did a great job. Have it a seat. It great, really. Thank you. Paige, <laughs> get on up here. We got this, Paige. Okay. 15 okay. seconds on the clock. Okay, we got okay. this. Josh, lock it in with Paige. Ready. Here we go. Things you find at a resort. Okay. Got this. Sketch. I can't see. Oh, God. Uh, a line. Um, it is a seat. It's a chair. It's a table. It's a cocktail. Yeah. It's a margarita. Yeah. 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 Can I just say, can I just say, <laughs> Paige, how good does it feel when you get it right? It feels so good given the fact that that's what I it mean, looks like. Look, we're, not, we're this is a judgment-free zone. This is one funky margarita right here. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good job. Good it's job. a little funky. It doesn't matter. It got the job done. Devon, get on up here. <laughs> you got this. I, I, I... Okay. 50... They get to help me out, right? 15 seconds on the clock. Jennifer, lock it in with Devon. Here we go. Things you find at a resort. Sketch. Come on, Jennifer. Palm trees. You got this. A cabana. Close. Close. What yes. am I looking at? Come on. Uh, Jennifer. A mushroom. It's a uh, uh, sand beach. It's island. Right there. See it. 
Great. Um, job, Devon. Great job, Team Paige. What am I you looking can at? Steal this for a point. You did a great job, Devon. Paige and Josh um, are talking about it. Rainforest. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can see why. You Sorry, can see it's, it's a there's rainforest. A, there's a lot going on. I can see it. There is a lot going on. This is obviously like clouds. This yeah. is precipitation. Those and look like when you're drops. underneath, as Rihanna would say, you I can said, stand under my umbrella. umbrella. Of the rainbow. No, we were looking for umbrella. Umbrella. Uh, I, said that. I didn't say that. Umbrella. I don't, I don't know how. I mean, uh, look, know. Devon, it is a little, it is a little mushroom-like. Jennifer is so giving good. you a little side eye. All right, have a seat. <laughs> Come on. Hopefully this will go well. Josh, you guys got a point. You got this. You got this. Get on up here, Josh. 15 seconds on the clock. The category is things you find you got this. at a resort. Okay. Page. Yep. Sketch. <laughs> things you find at a resort. Yes. We're dancing to the Pictionary song. There it is. Come on. Okay. Okay. Page. Beach. Okay. Beach is Beach. correct. <laughs> wow, they're on fire. Yes. Hold on. We've got one more round for all the marbles. This round is called Choose Your Words. During the break, each team picked out two words for the other team to draw. This round is words that start with the letter P, everyone. Words that start with the letter P. Jennifer, this is your show, so oh, you're up first. Oh, mama, we got this. Remember, words oh, that start. <laughs> words that start team with the letter P. This. Here's your word. You get 60 seconds. Devon, you got to really look this way and concentrate, OK? 60 seconds. Sketch. Ooh. OK. Let's start uh, with the letter P. Devon. Uh, Popsicle. Oh, uh, palm tree. Uh, um, it seems that playing oh. ball, playing. Ooh. Um, A lot of sparkle in that. Uh, sparkle person, there. Sparkle. 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 Person sparkle. Sparkling. I don't. Come on. Come on. No. I need something okay. else. Okay. Come on. Uh, 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 the, oh. Love. Heart. Heart. Uh, oh. They're on person, their knees. They're on person their with knees. heart. Lots of love. Sparkling. P point of heart. Point. Point. Wow. Well, 20 seconds. Uh. Um. Uh. I don't know what else to draw you. They're on um, their pointing. Um, it's sparkling. There's a lot sparkling. of love. Someone's on their oh, knees. Wait, wait. Yeah. People. Start. Uh, we're just starting with the letter P. They're on their knees. Uh, we have a jewel. Person. There's love. We ran out of time. Was, we were looking for. Devon, we were looking for proposal. Proposal. Oh, proposal. You don't see them on their knee? It was what very else close. I got to do? Oh, okay. It's a proposal. Wait, what's, what's going on here? It's a proposal. Here? So, I wanted to start with, I won. And then from there, I wanted to say, I had a great life when we met. I was very fulfilled. And then you came along, and you rocked my world, and made it even better and greater. And um, we've been together pretty much since we first met because you showed up in your U-Haul. I should have been a red flag for me, but it wasn't. Um, <clears throat> but I, I love you. I didn't know what U-Haul was. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, but I love you. And we've had fun. And we just keep having fun. And we just keep hanging out. And I think we should just keep having fun and keep hanging out. Um, I love you. I love your silliness, your ridiculousness, your goofiness. I love the body obviously doesn't hurt, you know? <laughs> You, Jay Hud always quotes mom, and mom says, I ain't mad at it. So as your mom would say, I ain't mad at it. Um, but most of all, I love your heart. And Aww. I just want to keep doing life with you. And if you will have me, I think we should do that. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes! Yes! You said yes! <laughs> you two played an amazing game. I think you need to celebrate. So you know what? We're going to give you both a five night stay for two at Garza Blanca Resort and Spa Cancun, where you'll stay in an ocean view suite and dine on gourmet cuisine while relaxing poolside, celebrating your engagement. There we oh go. Oh my God, congratulations. Oh my God. Y'all, this is truly the happy place. You can catch Jerry and Pictionary every day on this station and others. So go check out your local listing. We'll be right back. And congratulations. 
you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.